Hello Facebookers and YouTubers. Uh, today I just wanted to go over some of the driveline components that we find in the two and a half ton, five ton Axle Tech and Meritor axles we've been using here in the off-road industry. Uh, just to keep things simple, I'm not going to get into the smaller stuff. I'm not going to get into the half ton, 1350, 1310, and I'm also not going to do anything bigger than like an 1810, all that semi-truck stuff. We'll leave that alone. And I'm also not going to touch too much on the real oddball stuff that you find here and there. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, I'll start off. These are common U-joint sizes you'll find in a two and a half ton truck, uh, 1410, 1480, and 1550. These 1410s, it's about as small as you'll find. Uh, you can get into the 1480s. You can see that once you compare sizes, cap diameter is quite a bit bigger. Uh, cross width is about the same. And same thing, you get into the 1550. Cap diameter is similar, but the cross width, cross width is uh, quite a bit bigger. Um, all these mount with a common four bolt flange onto the two and a half ton pinion yoke. Just a four bolt flange like that. And then once we get into the bigger stuff, the five ton stuff, this is a 1610, a 1710 U-joint. The adapters for them use this round bolt pattern, mounts on a five ton flange like that. Um, the 1610, it actually works with this the Meritor yoke. You can see here it uses a two bolt cap, it holds it on there. Same with the five tons here. And you can kind of see the size difference between the 16 and 17 10. Um, if you're shopping around for surplus drive shafts, just kind of a thing to keep in mind is the 16 10s, the drive flanges here, you can see it's flat on that face, where the bigger 17 10 has that step right in there. Just an easy thing to identify them with. Now we're going to move on to some of the little weirder stuff you'll come across. Uh, this is an older 5 bolt uh, adapter flange. It uses a wing style U-joint, uses a keyed flange in here and then bolts on. Fits there. You'll come across some of these. I think they're uh, used on some of the older 5 ton trucks. You'll see them. Um, the wide axle tech axles, they use kind of the same design. Not the same size, but the same style. Um, keys in there and everything. Um, and then on the narrow axle tech axles, you'll see this kind of cross cut pattern. These are a real oddball setup. There isn't a lot of options that'll fit this cross cut pattern and not a whole lot of um, options available either in U joint sizes. Um, you can see here, this is actually a, a cross cut yoke. And um, same thing, real expensive, hard to find, and uh, not real, not a real good setup. You can find some surplus drive shafts that have that crosscut pattern that'll fit these, but they're definitely not as common as the five ton shafts or the the two and a half ton. Um, because of that, we put together a couple options here. This is just an adapter that we built. Um, you can fit this onto the crosscut. Axle tech pattern, and what it'll do is you can adapt uh, 1410 or any of these flanges onto there. It'll bolt on, then you can just run a common two and a half ton shaft. Um, and then, even for the guys that want to do a bigger five ton shaft, you do have an adapter here, same cross cut pattern. It's on there, and you can run these bigger 1610, 1710 adapters on the Axe Tech crosscut pattern. So there's just a couple options. Um, there are adapters available for the wide Axle Techs that'll accept the the 1410, 1480, you know, 1550 adapters as well. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'll post a link to our website, and what I'll do is I'll list all the different dimensions of these U-joints, cross diameter and, or cross width and cap diameter. 
so you have a better idea you know if you're shopping around and you're looking at strength and that kind of stuff or if you have a u-joint and you don't know how to identify it it'll give you a good idea it'll just kind of be an easy reference guide so keep an eye out for that below and other than that that's about all we're going to talk about today so thanks for watching